are you doing here? I knew they'd assign you here sooner or later. Look at you. God, you're so strong and beautiful. Mom, you can't be here. I know, but you're in danger. I have to ask you something. You weren't sick the day you took your aptitude test, were you? Hi. What were your test results? They were, uh, they were inconclusive. Divergent. I had a chance to visit the set in Chicago. Mm. So it's, for me, it's fascinating to see how everything comes together and then sit back and watch it in real life. And yeah. I love the themes of this movie and the fact that it focuses so much on female empowerment, female friendship and sisterhood. I mean, that's a fantastic thing to watch on screen. Mm. What, are, what are your thoughts on it? Because you, you had key elements for both of those really coming together in this movie. Yeah, that's so true. I mean, look at the Ashley's character and, and Shailene, and even our, our, our villain is, is a powerful woman. So. And the friendships that Triss has within the Dauntless faction as she attempts to make her successful conversion, I think are critical. And I love what you said because one of the things I've noticed in my life is that strong female to female alliances mm. help women feel safer and have an empowerment within these traditionally male spaces yeah, that's where right. male Q. interests right. are yeah, privileged. I mean, I no, exactly. Are, exactly. Yeah, that's right. And a, another cool thing about the movie, too, that I love because there's sort of been this trend in recent years that these young adult novels have really increased the popularity of reading. So I want to find mm. out from the two of you what did Isn't you that read? Great? Yeah, it is. What did you read? when you were younger that you really connected with? Well, 16 million copies sold of Divergent speaks to that. So yes. thank you for mentioning that. Yeah. I, you know, I really loved reading American authors. And that was because in the 10th grade, we did American Lit in Tennessee. And then I moved to Kentucky, back to Kentucky for the 11th grade. And they were doing American Lit. So rather than moving me out of my cohorts class, my teacher just asked me to read other books by those authors. And so um, I, I read, everything. I mean, I just, yeah. I loved to read. I was kind of a lonely child too, so the <laughs> books, you know, were my friends. But I remember my sister would wake up, she was a teenager, you know, by that time, so she'd sleep later, and I would say, is it a lot to read a 275 page book between 8 a.m. and 11? Hmm. You know, I just loved to read. Nice, nice. It's good to hear. And what did you find yourself fascinated with? When I was a kid, I, you know, uh, read um, Tolkien and for the, for all the Frank L. Baum books when I was very young. But then, was, and then I got into Steinbeck, American mm -hmm. authors like, you know, as a teenager, Steinbeck and Hemingway, and, and um, the, so as I got into high school, I got a bit more into, into that. But uh, when I was younger, um, it, was, it was a lot of the fantasy stuff, like, like Divergent. And those books that I loved, like this one, um, had a very broad appeal. You know, it wasn't just for kids in the way that Divergent right, is not just right. a young adult story it really something that resonates very universal. it really is very universal so like the you know this is a movie that's for adults as well as you know the the young adult audience yeah